Welcome to Reality Pop, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Survivor Friendships. For this list, we're looking at the most wholesome friendships generated between two contestants during their time on the show. We're focusing particularly, but not limited ourselves, to the more unlikely friendships the show has created, and we're giving bonus points for longevity. We are also excluding any Survivor romances. Number 10. Colby and Tina. Going all the way back to season two, Colby and Tina became friends quickly and while not being on the same page for a few early votes, these two quickly grew close. By the merge, pretty much every decision being made came from the alliance these two had. Colby chose to bring Tina to the end with him instead of Keith, virtually sealing the deal for Tina to win. When she did, Colby, instead of showing his disappointment, almost seemed more excited than she did. These two have remained friends and are considered one of the most impressive final twos in Survivor history. Number 9. Courtney and Sandra. Arguably two of the worst challenge competitors in show history, these two graced our screens simply by their friendship and how they adapted to the villain rules they were given on season 20. They were constantly watching challenges from the sit-out bench and provided much needed comic relief to a season that had so much backstabbing and devious play. Because me without Courtney, that's like rice without beans, you know? Two similar characters with similar styles of play, it's only fitting that Sandra won the season thanks in part from a jury vote from Courtney. Number 8. Tony and Sarah. These two had such an interesting arc. They bonded on season 28 early, where they initially became alliance members due to them both being cops. Later that season, however, Tony backstabbed Sarah, causing her to go home early and leading to him ultimately winning the season. They both returned for Game Changers, where the tables turned, as Tony was an early boot and Sarah won the season. They both returned for Winners at War and remained tight all the way to the final four, where a fire-making challenge between the two left Tony the victor and an outpour of emotions followed as they realized they wouldn't make it to the end of the game together. I wish I could be there with them. You know, we talked about this for the last 38 days. Um, it's not gonna happen, but it's okay. And he can still finish what he set out to accomplish. And I know he's gonna do it, and so, I'm fine. Between these two, there are three Survivor victories. Number seven, Kim and Kat. Survivor One World didn't generate many friendships, but one that stood the test of a testy season was winner Kim and youngster Kat. Don't get me wrong, like I love her more than anything in the world, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to beat her in challenges. Even though Kim blindsided Kat, they remained tight friends, with Kat even giving a jury speech aimed solely at trying to aid Kim to victory. After the season, they remained tight as Kat was the only Survivor attendee at Kim's wedding. They remained so tight, in fact, that when Kat returned for Blood vs. Water, her luxury item was a framed portrait of her and Kim together. They remain very close friends to this day. Number 6. Lex and Big Tom, one of the more unlikely friendships on our list. Lex was a younger punk rock type guy from California, while Big Tom was an older farmer from the South. However, these two seem to always be on the same page during their time together on season three in Africa. Tom was spent, so I, I kind of I took him to bed. Here we go. Follow me. Here we go. All right. Hey, Martina. Feet in there. All I ask is that if you got to puke, you go outside. Well, that's... All right? That's right away. Hey, Lex, thank you. Hey, my friend. You're welcome. I'd do it for you. I know you would. Perhaps it was just the harsh conditions that brought them together, or perhaps it was the fact that they were able to find commonality in values and ideals despite living very different lifestyles. Regardless, these two consider each other amongst their best friends and remain very close to this day. Number 5. Rudy and Hatch The original Survivor friendship that defied everyone's expectations. Going all the way back to the inaugural season of the show, no one expected Rudy, the aging, old-fashioned, hard-nosed ex-military man to talk to, let alone befriend, the young, corporate, liberal gay man. 
However, the two not only talked, but formed the first ever Survivor Alliance, an alliance that made it all the way to Final Three. Before we got on the island here, I formed opinions about people, but I changed my mind just on that trip in. He's rich, for one. I mean, this guy is, he's strong, he's smart, the guy surprises me. You know, he's fat, but he's, <laughs> he's good. Rudy ultimately voted for Hatch to win, a vote that would have made Wigglesworth our first winner had he switched. And the two had a wholesome friendship that lasted past the show and remained strong up until Rudy's death not too long ago. He's one of the nicest guys I ever met, and he's good at what he does, you know. He's got leadership ability, and, and if these people here would listen to him, he, he would take him a long way. But anyway, uh, me and Richard got to be pretty good friends. Not in a homosexual way, that's for sure. Number four, Wendell and Dom. A more recent friendship, Wendell and Dom just seemed to click since the very start of Ghost Island. Though Dom was more outspoken and Wendell was more reserved, the two seemed to always be on the same page about who needed to be voted out every vote. From alliance to friendship, these two grew close as the season went on. It's only fitting that they remained close all the way until the end, as they were the final two of the season and led to Survivor's first and only tie vote at Final Tribal Council. For the first time in 36 seasons of Survivor, we have a tie. They also remain close friends to this day. Number three, Malcolm and Denise. The hardships these two shared together would have brought anyone close, but their similar outlooks on life, despite the age and lifestyle difference, made for an interestingly wholesome friendship. And she's a good person to have around for me to kind of scheme with. So it could end up being an alliance that I end up staying with for a very long time. These two went on a roller coaster of trials and tribulations together. Malcolm and Denise were on one of the worst tribes ever on Survivor Philippines, to the point where it ended up being just those two on a tribe together. Somehow the merge came and they fought their way all the way to the final four, where Denise ultimately won the game. Number two, Yule and Penner. This friendship started as a rivalry on Survivor Cook Islands, whenever Penner mutinied from Yule's tribe. Yule manipulated Penner later on with a hidden immunity idol and ended up voting him out. I'm asking you for both of our sakes to become my ally again. Once the game finished, however, they grew very close, with Yule saying that Penner was the only survivor he kept in touch with, and vice versa. Yule had helped Penner and his now recently deceased wife with aid in the battle against ALS. Yule even went as far as saying that had he won season 40, he would have put all of his winnings towards Penner's family. Number one. JT and Fishback, the dynamic duo of all dynamic duos. JT, the charming athletic southern farm boy, and Fishback, the nerdy yet intellectual city boy from New York, created one of the most unlikely yet dominant alliances in Survivor history. As long as me and you're solid, I don't give a damn what we do, man. All right, good. We're taking each other no matter what. No matter what. The alliance turned into a friendship as the season went on that remains strong today. It was only fitting that these two both won individual immunity idols, shared a hidden immunity idol together, even went on a private reward together and made it all the way to the final two during Survivor Token Chains. It's going to be hard for another friendship to top this one. Do you agree with our list? Who do you consider the most wholesome Survivor friendship? Let us know in a comment below. And be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future Survivor Top 10s. Thanks so much for watching Reality Pop, your new hub for all things reality. If you're enjoying this content, please let us know by giving this video a like, leaving a comment down below, and, of course, subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And be sure to hit that notification bell along the way. Thanks! Hey there, thanks so much for checking out Reality Pop, your new hub for all things reality. Do you have a passion for reality TV? We're currently looking to expand our team. So if you're interested in being one of our podcasters, video editors, graphic designers, social media managers, or anything else, please let us know. Go ahead and shoot an email over to realitypopnetwork at gmail.com. The link is in the description. And let us know where your interests lie. We look forward to hearing from you, and thanks for watching Reality Pop.